Alright, so we have won the die roll, and of course we'll like to play first. Oh god. Can we draw a two drop, guys? If we can draw a two drop, I think we can get there. Yeah, we don't know how aggressive his deck is yet. God, that's such a bad opener. Ugh, it's like the worst ever. The worst actual ever. Although Fall of the Hammer does make it better. That does not make it better. Seder Hedonist, but no red so far. Alright. Um, do I play this right now, just so he doesn't get in two free points? Or do I save it to bestow? No. Probably just play it right now. Actually. And then if he tries to get fancy, we can always fall it. Yeah, that is... That seems like just such bad value here. But, whatever. Lump. So he's why is he is he just is he actually just playing a two one here? All right. Well, we want to be racing, so I'm generally okay with you trying to race me. Or is he playing Jund? Sorry, I was just a little tired. He's probably playing Jund. Knew it. Knew it the whole time. He's just playing Jund. Alright, so he will take three. I suppose the race is on, so to speak. So next turn we have Fall and Pegasus if we need. We also have Rage if we play something bigger. Although, I would like to be able to attack freely next turn. Um, and he does have a lot of cards in hand. Our start was clearly just not aggressive enough to get there. So we may need to try to build up a little human uh, flyer army and uh, fly over him, so to speak. Still racing us. Um, that could mean something like Savage Surge, but luckily we'll have Fall of the Hammer up, or it could just mean a larger blocker about to be played. He can play a 6-drop this turn. Alright, well... It's like the best case scenario here. Because we get to play Arena Athlete... And we get to fall the hammer. And now we can get in for five, which is sweet, um, because we'll have a clock of three once we get Calvary Pegasus Arena Athlete online. Also, any targeted spell means that his bigger thing can't block. Yeah, so we're still not favored to win here. Um, but it isn't looking as bad. <laughs> not looking as bad. I was really just afraid from playing a 6-drop last turn and totally outclassing us. Alright, that is... That is acceptable. I understand. No worries, dude. We'll land. Alright, so... I actually just think we attack here. With the Minotaur Shaman. And see what he blocks. Okay. See, I mean, that's... 
that's the best case, best case scenario because we want to get back to racing. Um, no need to play the land. I don't know what discard spell he could have that only makes us like only lets him look or makes us discard one card. But there could be one I'm just not thinking of, and so I suppose we were playing around that. We're also giving him less information, which is always nice. Um, and we have this clock of three. We'll be able to remove a threat. Although if he plays like a Nessian Asp, that will be very difficult to remove. Um, we need running burn spells in that situation. Playing a 7-drop, really? Or maybe he just needs the red. Maybe he just needs double red for something. Although there are no double red flyers, so that has to be a good sign. I can't think... Is it like a Volpine Goliath? That would need more mana. Is it like Abhorrent Overlord? That would need 7 mana. Drown in Sorrow. What? That's gross. What just happened to me? Is this guy for reals right now? I guess we have to play around sweepers? Ugh. And then he still has two red mana floating. I'm still really, like, maybe... Maybe he just sacked it because it was going to die anyways. Like, I guess that's a possibility. Although, if he plays nothing else, we are hopefully going to get to Rage next turn. Okay, Unicorn. Okay, now I understand why I did that. That makes a lot of sense now. Well, I mean, not a lot of sense, but a wee bit of sense. And Flame Speaker Adept. That's actually fine. Um... Because this scries, so we can actually continue to race him, believe it or not. I mean, don't believe it, that's fine. But we can actually continue to race him here fairly efficiently. So I'm definitely okay with it. Um, if he attacks us 4 here, we take it to 11. We kill his biggest thing, hopefully. And then, what if it gets plus 2 plus 0? Oh. And then we attack him to 8. And hopefully we can draw some gas with it. So that'd be really nice. It'd also be sweet if we had an extra Pegasus. But we do not. I'm also just expecting that he has more gas in his hand than we have in our hand. And we're just going to die. Oh yeah. Just dead. Alright, well Divine Verdict? No. Gosh no, that's a 6-6. Six, six. We die horrible, miserable deaths to Divine Verdict. Can we race this? Reasonably. If we draw a 2-drop. If we draw a 2-drop and we scry into Titan Strength and taps out again. Could Titan Strength be an extra 5 damage? No, that'd be... We'd still be one short. Yeah, we'd still be one short. Um. Alright, well... I guess we keep that up for Nyxborn, Rollicker, or whatever. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, we're just dead here. That's fine. We couldn't even play anything. I don't know. I guess we could have, should have, like, just kept Fake Out's Willing Up. That Night Holler was just a beating. All right. What can we do? No Ray of Dissolution. Last Breath's not good. Prowler's Helm maybe to help us get through. Um, instead of, I'm fine with that instead of Mortal's Armor, actually. No, Fanatic wasn't good there. I'm fine with Prowler's instead of Fanatic. And let's just try to beat him. Beat him down. Uh, I would like to play first. What is going on with my internet connection right now? Alright, there we go. Uh, this hand is very solid, so pretty easy keep. To block this turn, every cast a spell, you may tap target creature. 
So we have actually a really aggressive curve, curving into giant. The issue is both of these guys do die to drown in sorrow if he happens to have it again. I guess if he does, it's just good for him. I don't know. We'll definitely get in some damage before that happens, though. So he definitely doesn't have more than one Drown in Sorrow, but he probably has one. So it's just whether or not we want to play around it. And I think if he attacks, we're just pumping. Like, if he blocks, we just pump here. Because, I mean, it plays around Drown in Sorrow. It scries it to hopefully something that's not a land, and it clears the path. Um, so now he doesn't. So now it's an even two for two. Um, because he'd also have to kill his creature and waste his best removal spell against us. So, I'm definitely okay with playing it now. Yeah, so this could be Drown in Sour Mana, that's fine. We just get gotten. Nope, Farika's Cure. Alright. Ooh. I know he wanted to attack there. He's trying to figure out whether he wants to block or not. He didn't attack. So we could block. Um... Do we just go for it and try to scry into something good? Yeah, he has a card advantage on us. We have a trick in our hand already. Alright. So that ends up being sweet. That goes on the bottom. Alright, so now we have the giant next turn. My guess is he's going to just take 5 and keep it a 3-3. Three, three. Um, I mean, obviously, depending on what happens here, but, I mean, a 5-5 five five is pretty large, so he probably just wants to take 5, but I'm not completely sure. Why does he keep doing that? He's like, I want to attack, but I don't know how. Agent of Horizons. Another mountain. I swore we had just scried a mountain to the bottom. I swear we just did that. Obviously he's just taking it. And now we just slam the giant. Like We don't have a lot of advantage here. And so we just want to push whatever aggressive advantage thing that we have. Um, and hopefully he's just stuck on something and bricks a bunch. I don't know. We shouldn't win this game. We really shouldn't. I also think I could have drafted like a much cleaner deck. And I, I am probably pushed the aggressive deck a little too much as well. Alright, so he's just going to go to 9. Which I suppose is good for us. Especially because we have so many outs. When I say so many outs, I'm mostly talking about things like um, Calvary Pegasus and Snarecaster and Wingsteed Rider, or Skyguard and Wingsteed Rider, that can just get evasive damage in, as we have not seen any flying threats. We have not seen any Nessian Asps or things of that nature. And he's going to read the bones, go to six. And we have the Blowout Coordinated Assault if we need it next turn, so. Hmm. Uh, it's a sketchy play on his part. If we draw any, like, if he doesn't play a creature and he doesn't have Defend the Hearth, which I doubt he has, yeah, 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 so if he for some reason just, like, doesn't block and we draw another spell of some sort, we can just actually get him. Alright, so I'm okay with just jamming here. Ooh, this is, this is lethal if he just doesn't block. Never mind, I thought we still, we were like one damage away for some reason. 
And this is pretty lethal. It's fine, we're just gonna blow him out. Whew. Uh get blown out, son. And even if he has Drowned in Sorrow, um, it just does nothing against our Giant and Adept. Yeah. Well, we just won the unwinnable game. That's good. We're really only playing 16 lands, right? Because we've been flooded twice now. It's just uh, ridiculous. Do we want Last Breath? Not really. I guess what it deals with is like... Um, What's that card, Night Howler? It deals with a very early Night Howler, I suppose. Do we just want to go bigger with all of our things? No, I think we're aggressive enough just to get him sometimes. All right, we're going to play this one. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. See you guys for game three. All right, guys, so we have a really sweet hand here, um, and so no mulligans ever. Obviously, if we draw a Plains on the first turn, that kind of changes our hand because then we're going to really want to bestow the riders um but i think we can actually just play a rollicker and not get slaughtered for it yeah i think that's acceptable hopefully he passes here sweet that is precisely what we wanted All right, now we really want to draw that plane so we can wing steed rider, and then if, and then if we draw the planes, we'll have a rollicker and fall of the hammer up the following turn, which would be sweet. All right, that that's acceptable. So, actually, I'm gonna to choose to play out of drown in sorrow, and I'm going to just bestow it up. Because that's like the card in my mind that could actually just get him out of the situation. <clears throat> and I don't want to help him out here. So let's just get him. That's always something he can play, I suppose. Um. Yeah, so I think I'm actually just going to kill that. Make him have something else. Hopefully draw the land for Observant Alseed. Seems correct. Putting him to 13. Yeah, I mean, if we draw the land, whether it's white or not... Actually, if it's white... No, one well... Really glad we killed the first one. Land. Alright, so that... That just makes the decision, like, much easier. So this Rollicker has gone in, like, three damage. So it's basically been a lightning bolt. Do we attack with this and just see if he wants to block and go down to ten? Ooh! He just scooped! Well, that's sweet, as we had Coordinated Assault and a number of Reserve it next turn. Alright guys, well, that scoop was a little unexpected, but as always, I'm glad to get the win. Starting off the new draft 1-0, and I will see you guys for round 2.